Demonstration, 5 Ways to Bypass Data Flow Restrictions Enforced by iOS Mobile Device Management Apple promotes MDM restrictions that should prevent data flows between managed and unmanaged apps. Commonly, enterprises rely on these restrictions to prevent employees from copying data between enterprise and private apps. However, these restrictions can be bypassed easily and effortlessly using pre-installed iOS apps. All following ways have been responsibly reported to Apple, but were not judged worth a security patch. Therefore, we want to warn enterprises that they cannot rely on these iOS security features. Let's start with our demonstration environment. The configured example MDM profile consists of the shown managed apps. The profile disallows opening documents from managed and unmanaged apps and vice versa. It also disallows this data flow via copy and paste. First, we open a managed text editor app and copy the selected text to the pasteboard. We then perform a cross-check by trying to paste the copied text to an unmanaged app. And indeed, iOS prevents this paste action, so the MDM restriction is correctly configured. But now, we invoke the simple shortcut named Copy to Clipboard in the iOS Shortcuts app. It contains the instructions to simply take the content of the clipboard and copies the content back to the clipboard. Now the content of the pasteboard can be pasted to an unmanaged app. This data flow to the unmanaged app violates the applied MDM restrictions. An even simpler way is to use the share action of the iOS Shortcuts app with the clipboard selected as input. To exploit this shortcut, we copy a PDF from the folder of a managed PDF viewer, so that the PDF file is placed in the pasteboard. Now, we simply invoke the shown shortcut and use the resulting share sheet to save the PDF to the folder of an unmanaged app. The MDM restrictions should have prevented this, as we now can open the PDF file in the unmanaged PDF viewer. A further possibility is to add an own bypass shortcut entry to the share sheet. To demonstrate its usage, we open a managed app and use the share action on the managed document. The share sheet now provides the option to invoke the shown shortcut called bypass shortcut. We select a folder, which is called freed in this example, to save the document. Notice that we now open another editor, which is unmanaged. In this app, we can import the document now, although it was originated from a managed app. However, the possibilities for bypassing restrictions are not limited to issues with the Shortcuts app. It can be also done with the Files app. When we try to share the PDF received via an unmanaged email profile, it seems that the share action correctly presents only unmanaged apps to open the PDF document. But if we had opened any document in a managed app before and now open the unmanaged document in the Recents tab of the Files app, the share action suddenly presents a list of managed apps. We use the managed Acrobat PDF viewer to open the file, which again shouldn't be possible. In the managed app we then save the PDF to the app's managed folder. The opposite direction, the bypass from a managed email profile to an unmanaged app, was already reported to Apple in 2020, but is still usable. In our final example, we open the folder of a managed app in the Files app and delete a document. We navigate into the recently deleted folder and long press the deleted document. Then we simply copy and paste the document to an unmanaged folder. Now we can open the document in the unmanaged PDF viewer, although initially the document was stored by a managed app. With all these demonstrated but unfixed issues, we only can conclude that data flow management in iOS is broken and Apple does not want to fix it.